Hi, Glenn Phillips with Lake Homes Realty and lakehomes.com. Today I want to talk about important website info when selling a lake home. In particular, I want to talk about web page views. Back in the many years, the early years of the internet, it was called a hit. Did that web page get a hit? Meaning somebody clicked it and looked at it. You know, if you're looking online for real estate property, you, you're looking through assorted properties, you click, it shows a, a home or other property for sale. That's a web page view. You leave, you come back a few days later, you look at it again, that's another web page view. Uh, so this is what we're talking about. And many people ask, well, how many hits, how many views did my property get that I'm trying to sell? And so one thing that I want to explain to you is that not all web page views are equal. The more important thing is the engagement you're getting with the property. Remember, the website tech, uh, is really there to drive the correct buyers to your property as efficiently as possible and to maximize the number of people who are aware of your property. But these web page views have some deception in them. If you ask, oh, can I get the number of views my property have? Because it can be driven by false things. There are websites that drive a lot of traffic, but it's not the right people. Uh, you can run a, an ad and drive traffic and it just shoves people at it. But if nobody's engaging with your property, they're not asking to come see it, they're not making contract offers, that's a problem. Views didn't help that and it can't fix an overpriced or a problem that's got a, a, with the property that's otherwise. So two numbers that are often deceptive that fool people, they like, oh, I had a lot of views to my property, that's exciting. Not if you're getting no traction. In fact, a high number of web page views for a property that's not getting traction is telling us, it's revealing that the property is overpriced for the buyers that are looking at it. Uh, they're interested, they're clicking, they're admiring it, they may even be taking notes, they may be bookmarking it, waiting for the price to fall. But that number keeps growing and growing the longer the property sits online. So you may say, look, this is fantastic, I'm getting all these views. Don't get stuck on that. What you're looking for is engagement, that these people not only are looking at it, they're coming through and trying to make a transaction. They're, doing, they're coming seeing the property, they're making contract offers. Interestingly, a low number can reveal overpricing as well. And you go, well, how is that possible? Nobody's looking at it. Well, in, in websites like, like lakehomes.com, you scroll through and there's, there's these properties and people will see them and they'll see the home and they'll see the price and they don't even click to view it. It doesn't even pass the search, the search parameter. This can happen on other websites as well. So if a website gets a lot of traffic and that property doesn't even get people clicking down to look at it, that's also a suggestion that it immediately didn't pass that initial first, oh, that's way too overpriced. I'm not even going to click on it. That's how overpriced it can be. So a high number can reveal, reveal something bad, a low number, so you say, well, where does it matter? The, the real tra thing that happens is you want to have the property displayed on something that has the correct meaningful traffic. The perfect number of page views is one. The one person who is interested will make a transaction, will buy that property. That's the perfect number is one. And everything else is noise. Those, those are the people that are window shopping or they just don't feel your price is right. So page views is a very deceptive number. People often ask about them and I say you really don't understand the whole context of what these numbers tell us. Uh, the real thing is what do you do to get a transaction? Of course, getting on a website like lakehomes.com gets it featured to uh, customers. They're interested in buying from all over the country, so that's step one, and that's important. It, but then it needs to be, the other things that make the transaction happen need to follow, and we do that. Our agents are really good at that. You can be sure and visit us at lakehomes.com to find one of these agents who can not only get you your property exposed to buyers from all across the country as well as those locally, uh, but it can also help you do the pricing so you get it priced in a way that's going to make a transaction so you can net the maximum return, get that home sold in a time that's, uh, that's suitable to you instead of just sitting languishing on the market. Hope this information has been helpful. Be sure and visit us at lakehomes.com and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.